hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you this type of manipulation i just uh, given the post in my facebook and the uh, youtube community so you just uh, looked at that and i'll show you how to make this type of manipulation so at first i want to analyze this one so here this is my folder and here is the background and the light and then the hill and another light brightness and contrast and here is the shadow of the girl and here another shadow another one and this one is our model that is the png file and here is the light adjustment and then the ambient light and the fog and i applied here some effects and again a light brightness and contrast and here gradient and adjustment that is the level so after that here i use a color lookup that is uh, another one and here used the cross processing that is the filter and uh, from the new google nick collection or nick collection whatever you can tell and then finally i got this one and then the logo so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i will go to the file and take a new options from here i'll take the canvas to that is the 2000 by 2000 pixel and that is the 300 pixel per inch and hit the create button and after that go to the file and place embedded i got a background image i'll give you that image download link for image download link please check out my video description so right press and restylize give the name as, as usual that is the bg bg for the background and then go to the file and place embedded and here is the hill and make it bigger so place it like this and i'll give you only this portion so right press and restylize and give the name and then mask this one and go to the gradient option and just brush it like this and this one as well so keep it a little bit so that's fine and place it here and if you need you can just brush it over like that so that's if you need you can adjust this one so that's good okay then go to the file and open up and here is my image i made it png and this one is like that and after that i just cut it out and if you want to get the uh, how to cut this photo from the background please check on my video description masking that is the clipping path or clipping mask or the transparent background so i'll give you there the detailed video and i'm taking this one and place in here press ctrl t and make it smaller and make it a little bit smaller like that so that's good and hit the take button and from here right press and the apple layer mask you are getting like this okay that's good and then go to the heal option that means here and go to the adjustment and brightness and contrast and i'll make the brightness a little bit down and here i'll use the shadow and then i'll use the light so from here i'll make it group and give the name bg so this one is the background and now i'll work with the model so below this background i'll take a new blank layer and just reset the color palette make it black and then go to the brush tool and make the opacity down and yeah there's good and here as well so brush over here so this one will be the shadow so a little bit and then take a new blank layer here and i'll make the this portion black a little bit black before that right press and create clipping mask after making clipping mask if you just draw over here uh, it will apply on the dress only so that means the girl only so 
or otherwise it will apply in whole image so i don't want to make this effect in a whole image so i'll make it like this so that's good and shadow if you make it more prominent you can do that so in this portion i'll make a heavy shadow for that i'll take another blank layer and make the opacity up 100 percent and the flow up press once press ctrl t and make it just here like this so place here yeah if you need you can just make the opacity down a little bit and press ctrl t you can just set or place here properly so that's good and again i'll take a new blank layer and just here i'll replace this one so i'll make it like this and yeah it will be more realistic so this one i need to adjust this one a little bit so use the move tool and here that's good yeah that's the good portion and if you need you can wrap it so make the wrap options so you can make it like this so that's fine yeah and hit the tick button okay this one is our shadow that is ready and now i'll take a new blank layer and go to the color again and take the color which is like yellowish and hit the ok button then go to the brush and i am taking the first one brush and hardness zero percent always and opacity and flow that is the hundred percent and select once press ctrl t and make it bigger and just place it here it's look like it's coming from the right side so hit the tick button and then i'll go to the file and place embedded and now i'll apply the fog that is like this so this one direction from the left but i'll make it from the right so right press and flip horizontally and hit the tick button and you can place it yeah that's fine and go to the blending mode and make it a screen so right press and restylize this one and giving the name no yeah that's good and then go to the filter and the blur and the motion blur so motion blur will be like that the angle will be 66 degree and the distance that is the 16 and hit ok go to the adjustment layer and take a brightness and contrast and make it mask and just make the brightness down that's good and contrast high that's good yeah and if you need you can adjust the opacity that's good and now adjustment layer again and the levels adjust the level yeah that's good so if you need you can adjust the snow yeah this one is a danced snow and it will make the image more meaningful so that's fine so if you need you can change the directions so after that go to the adjustment layer and color lookup and color lookup go to the foggy light color lookup and hit ok and drag it to here so it will apply in this portion so you can take it here as well so make the opacity down that's fine so when it's adjusting you can leave it so we need a shadow over here so here our this one yes this one is our shadow so select this one and go to the brush tool again and take the dark black color and just make the opacity down and the flow down and just brush over here and here in this portion we need more black so that's good it will match with the light and other stuffs so make it smaller so that's good and here as well so it is now good and now i'll select all the things with the bg and make it 
merge like that and go to the filter and camera filter from here i'll just uh, correct the color and work with it so go to the camera calibration and make it like this and make it like this and decrease the saturation and here as well so from here i'll give the highlight down a little bit and shadow as well so if you need you can make it a little bit black and variance i'll make it like this and then i'll add some amount of sharpening that is the detailing and luminance of noise reduction and hit ok so that's good and then go to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro 4 from here i will apply another effect and here are lots of effect in this portion so you can use it from this new nick collection and if you need this nick collection please check out my video description so from here i am using the cross processing and here are lots of method you have to choose one of them so i'll choose this one yeah and hit ok it will take time to load it up uh, actually it depends on your pc configuration so yeah our image is finally ready if you need you can adjust the light or everything it's up to you so i just uh, shown you the process how to do this type of manipulation easily so i think a lot from this video thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the stock and other resource link and other helping video tutorial about this tutorial or about uh, you know, the basic of this tutorial please check out my video description and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and until the next video i may see my signing out today bye 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 bye